Hello, today I'm going to show you how to place an object, in this case this police badge, on an irregular surface. Um, I'm going to use a different file, so let's get started. I'm going to leave, th this is a rendered image of the finished article, so I'm going to use this one. Um, this, I modeled this using T-splines and then output a NURBS surface from that. And I've modeled this badge here using Rhino. And first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to extract that surface and put it on a different layer. Let's turn that off to make it easier to see. And then I'm going to say curve, curve from objects. I'm going to create a UV curve of this surface. And that is purely for placement of this badge. So I've already made that as you can see that's how I did it I've moved it over here just so it's easier to see uh, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that because I've already got it created over here so from that curve I've just created a surface using uh, planar curves and then if I come into this uh, this view here and highlight that I've gone ahead and dropped that badge below this surface so that when we place it on here it protrudes through that surface and we, it makes it easier for trimming and boolean operations. So uh, with that let's get started. So the first method I'm going to use is flow along surface. So it's asking for the object to flow which is that one DC like that. So I'll enter and it says select near a corner so we'll pick this one and then the target surface and the matching corner so it will be that one and there we go we've placed it on and if we take a look it's come all the way through so we've got no trimming issues there but unfortunately that's clearly not what we're looking for so let's just try it let's undo that and try a different method this time I'm going to use orient on surface so it's asking for the object to ori orient which would be this one and what I'm going to do here I've got project turned on and it's asking to okay so we'll hit enter and it wants a base point so I'm going to pick the center but as you can see, because I've got project turned on, it's projecting down to the construction plane, which is above the bottom of this surface, which is good. So it will leave some area for trimming. So I'm going to pick that and then a reference point for scaling. So I'll bring it out here. And then a surface to orient on. So I'll select this and then I want to prompt for scale and also rotation. I don't want it to be rigid because I want to wrap it around the surface. So I'll say OK. So let's just look at a couple of different views here. So as you can see, as I move that around, it, it stays on the surface. So let's pick a point somewhere over there. And then as I move that, I get to scale it. And then as far as rotation goes, that got the letters going the right way. So, and I'll hit enter. Let's take a look at that. So we've come all the way through and that's definitely better. But we, you can see that this, this is not as big as this. So it's, it's still a little distorted. So let's undo that and talk about why that is. So I'm going to turn the control points on and I'm going to use this icon right here. I'm not using the hotkeys which are F10 and F11 because my screen capture software uses the same hotkeys so it messes me up. Okay, so we got that on. So what I'm going to do, what we need to do is rebuild this surface because we've got a lot of control points down here and here and not much here. So we're getting distortion on the surface. So edit, rebuild. Let's try 20 and 20 to start. We'll leave that alone. 
we'll say OK there. And so that's kind of evened everything up a little bit. But we need to, I'll turn the points off. We need to make sure that that is going to join watertight before we start uh, getting into um, anything else. So show edges. Oh, I've got to, sorry, I've got to join it first. Okay, so analyze, show edges. Okay, so we've got some naked edges there. And the reason for that is we need more control points to along in this direction here to better match that. So let's go ahead and undo that. And in the interest of time, I've already figured this one out. And what you would ordinarily do is keep increasing the points until they would join and you've got no naked edges. But I've already done that. So what I'm going to do is I'll just edit, rebuild. I'm going to show that. And then what it took was the 20 was OK, but I needed 33 to get a good um, join across there. So I'll cancel that. I'll go ahead and join it. Let's just analyze and make sure. Okay, we've got no naked edges, so we're good. Okay, so let's turn that back off and we'll try again. So we'll say flow along surface. This is the object. Select near this corner and we'll select the matching corner and there we go we've put it on there come through there that's good so we take a look at this it's much better but that's not really a circle it's quite elliptical and a little stretched so much better but not perfect but we could if you wanted to uh, you could compensate for that by scaling in one direction here and if you want the thing bigger or you want to move it up, down, whatever, you can also do that by moving it on this surface here. Uh, but let's go ahead and try the other method. So this time we're going to say orient on surface. So we'll pick the object, that one, hit enter. And this time I'm going to use the surface. So I'm going to pick here. I'm going to pick here. Okay, the surface to orient on is this one. This time I'm not going to prompt for either of those. I want it to be uniform. I'm going to use one. Again, I don't want it to be rigid. Say OK. And this time I'll pick the midpoint. And I'll hit Enter. And so if I come over onto this view here, last time I was moving it around trying to pick a point. If you look at that, I've placed it bang on in the middle there, which is really what I wanted. Um, so that's why I like doing it, this using this method. Um, let's take a look. It's come all the way through. And it's... I think it's a little small so I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger and again if you it is distorted a little bit it, it's kind of a little elliptical there it's not really circular but I, I don't mind that I think that's okay but if you did want to uh, correct that then you could just scale it in this direction a little bit just scale in, in one direction and that would compensate for it or another way of doing it, I'll just do that right now if I just undo that. Let's just do that one more time. It's the base point, we'll use the midpoint here and I'll pick that. We'll pick this surface. So I'm going to do it uniform again because I'm not unhappy with that bit of an ellipse there, but I'm going to make it a little bigger. 
but what you could do is not do it uniform and just increase or decrease one of these values here so let's just go ahead and say okay I'm gonna pick the midpoint and say okay and I like that a little better it's come a little further up there I mean we're a little away from the bottom which is what I wanted and it's definitely a little stretched in that direction but I think that's okay I don't mind that um, so there we go that's how we do that and all that's left now is to uh, go ahead and join it together so let's do that so I'm going to join that to that and then I'll just because that's the solid I'll just boolean that let's just check yeah we've got no naked edges so that we can create an STL file and that we can uh, print a part out with that so that's basically it so that's how you place or one of there's two methods of uh, placing objects on uh, irregular surfaces so the main thing is to make sure that your surface is fairly uniform and not too stretched so that concludes this tutorial thank you very much for watching